welcome to my channel um today we're going to talk a little bit about homeschool because guess what nobody knows what we're doing this fall really less than two months from now our kids will be either in school doing virtual school or we'll be doing um homeschool so um we're all kind of in limbo all the states that i know of are trying to decide what to do uh so um I just want to talk to you a little bit about our choice for one of our kids for sure that we started last year, which is homeschool. So this is Amelia, and Amelia has some different medical things that she deals with, and so we decided um, last year to um, pull her from traditional school before COVID hit and um, bring her home for homeschool. And we did virtual school um, through a uh, private um virtual school online um lat for last year and this year we're going to be doing a more of a homeschool approach more books um we both think that it'll work better for her um so we're going to show you her curriculum um today um and kind of just go over it a little bit on what we choose to do for her um so let's start with our first subject <laughs> this one algebra we decided to go with master books this is called jacob's algebra actually or jacob's math and this is elementary algebra now not to be confused with elementary school algebra this is uh starts at the basics um and they it's really good they have like real life math stuff that you can um that you learn your problems for it's not just random algorithms um, so there's some, so we have the, um, the actual book here and then we have, That's where I do my work. this yeah. is like the solutions manual where, um, I'll do, I'll do my work. she can, check it. yeah, do her work and check it teacher's guide. and teacher's guide. And like I said, this is from master books. And so she's going into the 11th grade. So this will be her 11th grade will be ele the elementary algebra or like basic algebra. It's basically ba uh, essentials in algebra one put together. Yes. And then next year she'll do the geometry for her senior year. <laughs> okay, and now we have biology. This is also, I think, is it through, no, this is not through Master Books. This one is Science Shepherd Biology, and it is, um, it starts with creation. And this is a Christian curriculum that we're using. Um, but there's tons, if you don't want to do Christian, there's tons of um, secular uh, homeschool education curriculum but this one is the biology and so it comes with our textbook this is my quiz um a test booklet and, then, and this is the answer key in parent what does it say parent companion that tells us what we're teaching so um and she will do this biology course junior year and then there's a human and human anatomy senior year that all gets her ready to start college next we have language arts and for her we have these two and this is this is from master books and this is called um jensen's and we and you can get several different ones whatever you want to focus on from jensen's but we wanted to start with this is the jensen's grammar um and it's a basic grammar punctuation um Y'all remember sentence diagramming? People talk about hating that. I love sentence diagramming. I love it. But anyway, this is the grammar portion, and it does come with, when you buy it, the DVD. Um, I'm not really it, sure what's in the DVD. It kind of teaches you some stuff. Teaches you some stuff. And then this is the format writing. So the different styles of writing that she will need in college. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And it comes with the DVD, too. That's what we're going to do and for this. junior year. Is and then, recommended. yeah, and this was recommended for this course too. Once again, this is a um, a Christian curriculum. So this is called, and it's by Master Books. If I didn't say that, and this is called So Noted: The Genesis Commentary by Dr. Henry Morris. It's the King James Version, which is not my favorite, but <laughs> it's what they have. So th this has um, Genesis, and they're gonna do their note taking and um, some of their writing work and language arts work on the book of Genesis. So pretty cool. Wish it wasn't King James Version, but we'll make it work. And world history. And this is Master Books 2. Um, 
and they have a world history and an American history. So we're doing world history junior year yeah. and American history senior year and then she'll be done with history. But this is really good and it, it um, it's observations and assessments from creation to today. So it's also um, a sort of a Christian worldview even though I don't like saying that using those terms. Christian worldview. Um, book and it's got the Greek wars and, and all that and then it comes with the teacher's guide so I know exactly what I'm teaching so I'm gonna learn a lot too um so yeah so we've got our world history and then our last thing is gonna be her elective. just reading it's an elective basically. it's an elective we're gonna she's gonna be reading a lot and she's starting with to all the boys I've loved before which is like a YA um young adult read and um, I really want to get her into reading some of the classics. You can get a lot of the classic books at christianbooks.com. <laughs> you know, Pride and Prejudice, um, Jane Austen, um, stuff like that. But I know sometimes they don't want to read that. I remember in high school for our English classes, um, our teacher um, used to do our, our lessons on, we got to read... Um, Dracula. We get to read Mary Shelley's Frankenstein and West Side Story and stuff like that. And those are things that I love too. So I totally get that. But um, but this is what she's picking, and she will write a um, a summary on. This. And she will test me, and I will test her about my summary. Like she'll look at my summary and do questions. On yes, and she'll have to write it well. Last thing we have as far as homeschool right now is I did pick up this homeschool. Um, classroom and it keeps up with what she's doing day by day. You're showing the stickers, yeah. showing the stickers. We and field trips. <laughs> field trips. I don't, I'm sure we'll have field trips. To the store. To the store, right? <laughs> classroom seating chart. Yeah, yeah. Classroom seating chart is Amelia setting at the kitchen table. But um, so yeah, if there's so many options to homeschooling. Like I said, we took her out last November. Um, Just due to, finished. Yeah, due to finishing, um, I mean, due to being out so much with her, um, her some of her medical um, stuff. But this year, I'm just not sure what it's going to look like for our kids. Like I said, if we're going to be doing virtual. Um, a lot of us did. Probably most of us did virtual in the spring um, after quarantine or during quarantine. So, we'll just kind of have to see how that goes. But I wanted to take a few minutes and show you our homeschool curriculum. So, while we're on the subject of books, I want to show you all a few books that I got. Um, I got these off of Amazon, but I was introduced to them by another homeschooler. Um, and they're great for kids, for younger kids. Although, um, we as adults can learn a lot from these too. But I got them from Amazon, but they're by um, DK Books is who, um, DK Books is who did this one I'm gonna show you actually. Um, and they're so beautiful and there's so much information in them. Um, and the first one is called The Magic and Mystery of Trees. And it is written by Jen Green. And even the cover is beautiful, y'all look at that. And these are hardback books, um, which I don't always buy for kids. I don't know why. But it tells you all about, like, the root system. And it's just so pretty. Life after death, what kind of animals live um, in it. Fruits and seeds. It's just so much information. And it is just a beautiful book. Also, this series, um, this is by Thames and Hudson. Um, I, got, I got several, I got four of these, and there's tons of them. I want to get more, but I started with four. And this one's called The Big Book of the Blue. Look at that. And this is a giant book, and it's hardback as well. And it tells all about fish. Look how beautiful that is. Puffer fish. And we've got some crabs. This would be great if anybody's taking a, a trip to the beach this summer. You can find some flying fish. And it just tells all about different things like um, to launch its streamlined body into the sky, a flying fish has to be swimming at 37 miles per hour. I didn't know that. Did you know that? I didn't know that. So that is the big book of blue. And then we have 
the Big Book of Bloom. Same thing. It's from that Thames and Hudson. You can get all these off Amazon. Look how pretty that is. Like, that is... I love a beautiful book. And this tells all about vines and creepers. Look at that. And giant water lilies. Like I said, these are just so pretty. Um, pollinators. Let's see. Let me give you a something hover flies are one of the most important pollinators of fruit crops and wildflowers bees have a little hollow on their back legs surrounded by hairs to collect pollen and nectar i think i knew that one. but still there is a lot of really beautiful pictures and a lot of really cool um facts in these books and this one is the big book of bugs and stella loves to collect bugs and torture them till they die. I don't know. You know how kids are. She wants to learn all about them. She has a little bug catching kit. So I knew she would love this one. So the big book of bugs. And it's got all about bugs too. Look. Beetles. And. Of course. The beloved bees. That we love. That we stay away from. Centipedes. It's just so pretty y'all. Um, let's see see how big is a giant centipede as big as a dinner plate a tropical giant centipede eats frogs birds and even bats like who knew a tropical centipede could eat a bat that's that's huge and my last one of this group is called the big book of birds so pretty and this one look the bird family tree how pretty is that love it kingfishers look at those so pretty and let's see robins look at the beautiful hummingbirds we have some cardinals that live out there at our house and so the kids love to watch the cardinals we feed them all the time um let's see all about their beaks and feeding this one says a heron has a sharp beak like a dagger which it uses to stab slippery fish i mean that's just so cool you know, I just think those are so cool. Um, so these are great. I highly recommend them. I'm going to get more. There's tons of them. Animal ones. There's even ones that are like um, the castles. And I know my older boys will like the castle ones. And there's one about like um, medieval war or something. There's like tons of them. Um, another couple books I wanted to show you that are just fun and educational. And we actually got these from our... Um, school during quarantine they sent them to us but they're so cool this one is called that's trash um, Sarah Murphy and Tracy Dibble did this one and it just it just got so y'all it's like so pretty and it tells you all about what custodians do and trash collectors and where does the trash go how do they recycle it and this one is just so fun. It tells a lot about community helpers and things that go on in our community. So let's look at another one. This is um, another community helper one, The Miracle of Mail. So cool. Snail mail. Um, this is written by Fiona Luray. And this just tells all about the postage stamp. And let's see. All about, you know, at the post office, mail facts. How we get our zip codes. And I don't know about y'all, but my kids didn't realize, like, you have to put an address on an envelope and, like, a stamp and why do you put a stamp. And so this is just really fun, basic information about um, the mail. <laughs> um, another community one I have is the Field Guide to Your Community. And it is by Sarah Murphy and Tracy Dibble as well. So that's another one that they do. And this one has a lot of different community helpers. Like, um, community jobs. Um, let's see. Organizing jobs. Education and teachers. And let's see. Life pursuit, uh, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Let's see. What makes a community successful? Just a lot of basic information, um, that I think would be good for our kids to know. Um, 
And this little book is just so fun to learn about the community. Um, there's a lot of just really good, you know, ambulance uh, drivers, EMTs, just a lot, a lot of really cool stuff that um, you can teach your kids about your community. And the last one I have is called Life on the Blue Planet. Um, Matt Reher and Tracy Dibble. So Tracy Dibble did a lot on these. And this one's so fun too. It talks a lot, a lot about um, the ocean, classification of animals, um, physical adaptations and survival. And it's pretty picture. Y'all, y'all see, I like some pretty pictures. Life cycle of a sea turtle. It's just a lot of fun stuff. So, um, I will be bringing y'all information about books. I love books. I love, um, nonfiction books that I read myself. I love this kind of books for the kids and I like fiction books too. So I will be letting y'all know kind of what we're reading, just fun things we find. Um, so that's my little journey through the book world today. Okay guys, I'm done talking about books and homeschool stuff. So thank you for watching this episode. I hope I was able to tell you something fun or something you didn't know before maybe about homeschooling that we're all kind of thinking about and um just uh, look up some books the books i was talking about on amazon they're so pretty like i said you know i love beautiful books so pretty um and don't forget to like comment or subscribe and we'll see you next time bye